Hi guys, this is Bards and we'll come back to Farzalozi and also we'll come to a brand new section called the Confusion Club and in this section I'll track about all the confused topics of Photoshop, Lightroom or whatever like saturation versus vibrance, levels versus curves like Sebas versus export. All these are basic things but still we don't know the purpose clearly. We don't know the difference between them and that's why we don't know when should we use them. In this section, I'll try to make all these confused topics clear and hope it will help us to be more creative. And the most important thing, you can control this section. Just comment on the comment box which is more confusing to you. I'll try to talk about that topic, okay? Uh, today I'll talk about the saturation and the vibrance. So now, no more talks, let's get started. Fundamentally, both the saturation and vibrance work to increase or decrease the color of a picture. So in a broad sense, they are pretty same in terms of work, cause both work to increase and decrease the color but they are different yes they work differently the saturation sliders adjust all the pixels in a image again remember the word all the pixels that means it doesn't matter in case of saturation the pixels are bright or the pixels are dark or in a mid-tones that doesn't make any sense to the saturation so saturation affects all the pixels equally that means the pixels with the high saturated treated as same as the low saturated pixels the problem with this that by increasing the saturation you will end up blowing the already saturated colors or you will lose some details okay uh, all this was the theory part i know this is boring okay now we will jump into the example to see the exactly what will happen when you work with the saturation okay let's jump into the photoshop okay uh, i will show you the vibrance and saturation in photoshop in camera raw you can also follow this in lightroom the lightroom's vibrance saturation and the camera raw's vibrance saturation are exactly same so don't be confused here they are exactly same okay okay let's uh copy the layer by pressing ctrl and j you know that and then uh go to the camera raw to find the vibrance and saturation slider and now coming to the basic part here is this and here are two bars the vibrance and saturations okay uh we are talking about the saturation first so i will talk about the saturation also here okay let's increase it okay uh this slider you can increase the value from here and you can click and drag to the right this will increase the saturation and if you click and drag to the left it will help you to decrease the saturation okay uh, let's increase it first let's do it look at the colors look at the colors very carefully look at this now i am on uh plus 70 look at this look at this color okay you can see the before and after by pressing q this was the before and this is after Look at this let's zoom in a little bit and see look at the sky this is not realistic right this is not realistic okay so okay let's come back to zero and see okay look at this these are the bright pixel these are the bright pixel we know saturation works on both the bright pixels and also the dark pixels and work equally okay so these are the light or brighter pixels these are also bright pixels and these are the dark pixels. look at this look at this these are the dark pixels so saturation should work on both the bright pixels and the dark pixels okay uh, so let's increase it again around 70 look at this look at this bright part Look at this this was the before and look at this look at this look at the colors here look at the sense it turns into orange but the actual color is not orange so look at this it lost the details it lost the color here 
and again look at this area this is not realistic okay let's increase it more to 100 now look at this this was the real and this is after put 100 in saturation look at this this is like too saturated too colorful it's not good it's not realistic look at this look at this and if you zoom in on the trees look at this look at the edges of the trees it's not good it's not perfect okay okay uh, this was the saturation part and now i will talk about the, the vibrance part the main difference between the saturation and vibrance is the vibrance slider doesn't affect all the pixels equally yes the vibrance situation is more likely to affect the low saturated colors the mid tones mainly they don't affect the highlighted area and also they don't affect the shadows or darker areas and also the vibrance helps you to protect the skin tones that means in case of portrait it is very useful it is very useful to use vibrance rather than the saturation okay now let's jump into an example um okay i'm using the same picture so you can see the difference you can estimate you can compare the pictures okay uh let's increase the vibrance now look at this okay i am going with uh 70 just like the saturation now look at this look at this color look at this this is the highlighted part or this is the uh bright pixels let's put in zero again and look at this look at the bright part look at this they are not affected okay they are exactly same i said it before that vibrance don't affect the highlighted part don't affect the bright part and also don't affect the shadow or darker part they work in the mid tones okay look at this look at this it looks more realistic than the saturation okay let's increase it to 100 compare to the saturation for comparing to the saturation and now look at this this is not bad this is not old uh, i think this is too much but it's not too bad like saturation okay look at this okay look at this so this is more realistic than the saturation this shows how much more controllable it is compared to the saturation so in case of vibrance you don't need to think about the blowing out of colors so this is more preferable than the saturation and in case of portrait vibrance is must don't use saturation too much in case of portrait of course in case of every photo don't use saturation too much it was always vibrance and then if you need then use the saturation okay and again if you need to uh, increase the colors of something like uh, some part of picture then use saturation and then mask out then use the mask okay don't apply saturation uh, throughout all the areas all the parts of your picture they looks uh, actually they don't uh, look good actually and so the first priority is to use vibrance and then if you need to use saturation don't use it too much and then if you use too much then use it as a mask okay so this is all about the vibrance and saturation i hope now you can understand the difference between the vibrance and saturation i think this video will help you and if it did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe